Okay, I'm out here at Barry College. Hopefully gonna hike up to the uh, dream house. About two mile walk up the mountain, Lavender Mountain. Should be pretty nice. October 26, the leaves starting to change. Really pretty day. I think it's about 12 o'clock noon. That's the steep slopes of Lavender Mountain. That's looking kind of east, northeast up the ridge line. Runs kind of east west, but slightly north too. Pretty decent sized trees out here. I wonder if these escaped the logging of the turn of the century. Probably not, though. Some nice wildflowers there. Well, I'll tell you, this is a good workout. If you did this every day, 
you'd be in great condition. Take a little water break. You can see the grade I just came up. Not terribly steep, but steep enough. Maybe you can see in the top corner, pretty rocky up there. A little bit of a dry run down the mountain. I'm sure when it rains it's got water. That looks like an oak leaf hydrangea. Maybe it's a natural native our hydrangea. Don't see too many of those. Some more bigger varieties of them, or bigger size rather. Looks like a storm got that one. Another dry run up the mountain. We're probably at a third of a mile right now. Go on. Here we come, Martha Berry's dream house. <laughs> Rather warm day, probably 70 degrees, 75. Kind of warm for this time of year. As you can see, the slope still fairly steep, but not as quite as uh, consistently steep as it was on that last leg. I think I see some blueberry up there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the row we just came up. Barely see it, the top corner. There's a chestnut oak. Pretty decent size one. Some maples right here, when they change, they'll be pretty. Now you can see we've climbed a little bit.
a lot of dead wood, a lot of dead oak on the slope. Don't know why though. Maybe weather, maybe some type of bacteria or blights or something, but there sure is a lot of them. I'm thinking weather because they look kind of uprooted. Probably get some nasty storms on the slope. There's a slight vista up here, not too great, but it's there. You can actually, even though we're on the mountain, you can actually hear some bells right now. There is a nice stand of what I believe to be some type of hawthorn. Looks like it's changing with the fall colors. Very healthy looking though. There's a longleaf pine right there. Nice specimen. Here's a little patch of muscadine. That is like a wild grape in the southeast and uh, provides animals as well as humans. Food that's like a wild grape. And up we go. I'll let y'all know when I get to the what I believe to be the one mile mark and then we have we're halfway there it's about a two mile walk another long leaf pine small one
There is a uh, blackjack oak right there, I believe. Right there. Right below the pines and the light green. They're real pretty oaks. Smaller than most of the oaks. They have nice culvers out here. There's a good sized chestnut oak. Blue sky. We're still climbing, but we're pretty much, I'd say, on top of lavender. Or darn near the top. There's the crossroad, J. I I believe this is the one mile mark right in this area. Very nice day, very pretty. Actually, this is not the actual road that goes there. This is another road that's not on the map. House of Dreams is straight. It is lonely up here. <laughs> Me and the critters are about the only thing up here right now. I passed two ladies coming in before I turned my camcorder on, and that's been it this whole trip. So I'm going to say we're at about a mile right now.
fairly serious hike. <laughs> There's some more hawthorn. There's a redbud tree. There's a little bit of a view, kind of obscured by the trees, but you can kind of peer out there. That's probably looking toward our Murchie area, sort of. Looking over Barry College, maybe out toward uh, Northeast Rome, rather, maybe our Murchie. Not quite sure. As you can see, it's very protected out here. Looks like a red cedar. That sign was right. <laughs> like a yellow lichen right there. That is a, not a native bush. I'm not sure what it's doing up here. I'm trying to remember the name. Can't even remember it. But anyhow, it's not native. Nandina, that's the name of it. Nandita, Nandina is not native to this mountaintop. Don't know how it got here. <laughs> There's a cave, not. <laughs> There's a hackberry, don't see too many of those. Well, there should be a road that cuts back. Not sure why I don't see it yet. Oh, goodness. You can see we're up a... It's a pretty steep hillside right there. You can see a little bit of a view through the trees. I'm thinking that sign lied because the road is supposed to cut back to the left, but I don't know.
there is a the road is pretty worn here with bike treads and footprints so I don't know this is probably right nice little patch it looks like a blackberry Here's a trail. I don't know who would torture themselves like that, but here's a trail. We're still climbing up, amazing. Still haven't reached the top. Okay, I think I'm going to turn around now because I think I was supposed to take that left because this does not look right. Yep, we're going to turn around. I think I took the wrong way. Oh well, worse has happened. I think I'm going to get a water out while I'm here. Whew. Just climbed about 1,200 feet, I'm assuming. Don't know. That's probably, I probably didn't go far enough. No, my luck. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's a white pine. No, it's not a white pine. Virginia pine, I believe. Very peaceful up here. Not sure if I want to go on. I know that the. I don't believe this is the right way to the house of dreams. Maybe I'll check around this bend. You can see far in the photo, in the camera view. And if it doesn't look good, then I'll go ahead and turn around. Although the thing is, is that turnoff was a dirt road, and I'm pretty sure something popular like the House of Dreams is probably going to have nothing but gravel leading to it. So I tend to think I'm going in the right direction. Plus it's on the other side of the mountain, 
which I believe we've almost reached. In other words, the mountain faces south from the Berry College end and the Texas Valley end faces north. Some pretty pine tops. Well, if this is right, we should be almost there. And I think this is right. Looks like I see an opening on the other side. <clears throat> I think we have reached it. Oh my goodness. Woo! Victory! We have reached the dream house, or we are getting close. There's some periwinkle vine. Another non-native species. Don't know why it's here. Nice pretty oak log. A lot of the European settlers brought over non-native species. There's some wisteria vine right here. Actually, I'm not sure if this is the dream house or not. Some type of man-made structure. Don't know if you can see it, but it's there. <laughs> And I thought we were there, but we are not. Oh, oh well. We're getting closer. Looks like an old road right there. This looks like the gate to the dream house, I'm assuming. Big pretty gate right there in the, for the Mrs. Martha Berry. And these roads are just lined with wisteria. Interesting. I think I'm going to pop this water open now. About high time for that. Love your mom, love your family. Just saying, hey. When you just climb approximately 1,200 feet, water tastes great. Maybe more like a thousand, I don't know. Great exercise. Now I think it's like another mile. It's a pretty long walk just to get there, even though we're up on the ridge top now. Very peaceful and serene up here, I'll tell you that. There's a little side road, not sure where it goes, but I'm sure it's a good place. That looks like some type of fir tree, probably planted. 
Don't know if you can see about the center of the picture. Maybe we'll take a closer look at that. Almost looks like a hemlock. That would be awesome to see one of those up here. Oh, big grasshopper. Nope, I believe it's just a cedar of some type. Looks like those trees you see on the way up on Mount Laconte in uh, Cherokee. Nice. There's an old log. The woodpeckers love him. Powerade bottle. Yummy. I could use one right now. <laughs> And if y'all will just hold on, I'll point this at the sky. I'm going to go take a break. If you know what I mean. Okay, I'm back. Did y'all miss me? Anyhow, it looks like we got another mile. Unfortunately, I'm so lazy. I think I'm holding the camera upside down. I apologize, folks. There we go. Turn y'all's world upside down. <laughs> Just kidding. If this commentary is stupid, we can always hopefully edit it out. Just have the beauty of nature, not Eric. Not the beauty of Eric, too. Blue sky. And I have taken long enough a break. Here's some hickory nuts that have fallen off the tree. And squirrels will love them. Surprised we haven't seen any wildlife. Maybe a bobcat or maybe even a bear. Hopefully not, though. <laughs> but even though we are in Floyd County, Rome, which has 100,000 people, there's still the possibility of seeing a bear. They are in these woods. Probably not likely, but it is possible. Especially at this high of a height, because I believe that your smaller animals stay lower, whereas the bears bigger creatures get up in the higher elevations. Not sure though. Kind of speculating, but pretty sure. But I'll tell you, this is a nice easy route now. I'm actually going to try to figure how far it is walking distance. Nice little forest over to the left. That would be the southern side. And this side would be the northern facing side of Lavender. Berry College, Texas Valley. Berry College side, Texas Valley side. see the oaks and the hickories are kind of changing a little bit. There's a squirrel. I don't know if you can see him. He's cute though. So I guess I lied about the uh, size of the animals and the elevation. <laughs> Boy, aren't 
aren't y'all glad and aren't I glad I didn't turn around? I am really happy I did not. And believe it or not, we are still climbing. We are getting up here. And like I said, in these upper elevations, you can see the leaves are changing. As you can see, that's a slight grade we just went up. Forty-one minutes of walking and still haven't even reached it. We must be close though. And that is a very pretty chestnut oak. I, I am somewhat fond of those trees. I like their short kind of squat little growth. And they seem to like the upper elevations. Nice tree. There we go. We're looking down the... Uh, southern side, the Berry College side of the mountain. I believe this is an aster. They grow in the end of summer, early fall, or maybe even fall. Nice subtle purple, a little bit of yellow, pretty flower. There's another one of them fancy culvers they make up here. I bet you they do the trick nice. See, there's bike tra path, so people actually do frequent this area, believe it or not. Bikers love it. And I hope we're almost there. <laughs> Biker. Hey, what's up? Are we almost there? Was it another half a mile to get there? Half a mile to the dream house? Wow. They were serious, if you could not tell. <laughs> Barely spoke to me. I'm serious too though. Here's our little rock wall right here. This is very nice. I think it's neat how Barry College they put so much into it. That is just, words cannot even uh, touch the meaning of that. That is just priceless, I guess is the word. Pretty nice rock work. Martha Barry had brought in uh, immigrants from Italy and other places that were, I guess you could say, masters at the art of rock work and masonry. And they actually built some castles down on the campus. Maybe in another video, I'll video some of that so y'all can see it. But this is nice work. And we still are not there. I can't even believe it. I'm going back up a mountain. Wild rose in there. And I am so glad I did not turn around. See, that ought to be a lesson sometimes in life. The thing you want the worst are right there. You just got to find them. Or be patient. Wait on them. More musket on a really nice patch. And I believe we are kind of shifting slopes to the northern side of Lavender, which I believe is the side that the dream house is on. I'm sure it was very private. I 
I guess this walk could be like life, the journey uphill till you get to the dream house. Maybe that was her theme, you know. Not sure. And I'm telling you, this is a walk. Now there is a white pine. And I know for sure that is. Nice. Usually we only find those up in the mountains. And that's a pretty big one too. Pretty nice size one. And I can't believe it. We still are not here. My goodness. You can see the northern side of the mountain is definitely shaded up a lot. Goodness, I thought it'd be level when you got up here. No, it's uphill the whole way. There's the northern side of Lavender. And I'm guessing we're up in the 1400 foot elevation area, if I had to guess. And this is more like a three mile hike, I believe. Nice oak. Little small oak. Oh goodness, are we there yet? <laughs> Y'all can't tell, but this whole hike is uphill. Very good for them uh, calves and quads and hammies. Another rock wall. And as well as your cardiovascular and burning fat, which is one of the reasons I'm doing it. Christmas fern. Small white pine. Blueberry, but it doesn't look like it gets a lot of sun. Very pretty. That's the beauty of fall right there. It's almost neon sometimes if the light's hitting it just right. Get those neon colors. And we are still going. This is a good hike right here. Not imagine riding a bike up this. Kudos to those fellas. More Christmas fern. Smart weed. That's an edible. Sourwood. This one hasn't changed, but in the fall gets a very bright, almost a light pinkish red. And in the spring, I believe, or May rather, I believe it gets a flower that's kind of like a wand and white. Very pretty flower, too. Not sure why they call it sourwood though.
and I think I see a clearing, so I believe that we are here. And this is just divine. We are high atop Lavender Mountain. Not sure if you can go inside there. I hope you can. Maybe we can cut on the AC for a little while. Just kidding. Looks like an apple tree right there. Um, Forsythia. Not in bloom, of course. I believe Virginia pine. A lot of seed on there. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is fabulous. Wow. And the shape I'm going to be in for doing this is just going to be awesome. There's a uh, locust tree, I believe. Big, big one. Very pretty gardens up here. Very subtle. I believe she was Irish. I would say this is maybe an Irish type garden, I would guess. There's a maple, not quite in blue, uh, not turned red yet. There's a persimmon tree loaded with persimmons. Check that out. Maybe I can get a little closer. Nice cedar. Yeah, see that? Very nice. Uh, some type of short needle pine, probably a Virginia. Need to get better with those short needle ones. Don't know them. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I am just speechless. Kind of a terraced hillside, very nice. That's looking out toward Taylor's Ridge, I believe. In fact, I believe I see Taylor's Ridge where 27 goes over it, way, way out in the distance. Very nice. Very, very nice. Some of the uh, students come up here and work, and I guess their intuition, and also beautify the place. I may take up this uh, video, making videos, this is fun, I can use some practice, but it's fun. Here's a uh, peach tree, I believe. I love this terrace hillside, very nice. In fact, let's take a look back, see that? A lot of work went into this, I'm sure. I believe that's yarrow. And this is a very nice bramble patch. I'm sure that gets some luscious blackberries. I'm stoked. Never seen anything like this. Not even in my dreams have I seen this one. <laughs> and it looks like they are adding more terrace. If they could keep deer up here, you could probably survive up on this hillside. 
with the fruit trees. Sure, you could have a vegetable garden up here. Water, not sure of. Maybe there's a spring somewhere around here. Or in our modern age, you could uh, pipe some water up here. Let's see, this tree down here is intriguing me. I'd like to see what it is. I believe this is a very big mulberry tree. Really large. Alrighty, more to see, more gardens. And drum roll, we shall be to the house soon. Not there yet though. A little picnic area over there under that other mulberry, I believe. This looks like it could be a state park, haha. <laughs> it's nice enough anyhow. Another persimmon. Those coons are eating good up here. Evergreen. Nice little patch of rosemary for the chefs that come up here and cook. Let's follow this road and then we'll come back to this pathway. Sound like a plan? Here's that view one more time. You can see how high I just climbed. And since y'all are watching this, y'all climbed with me. Not. <laughs> wow. Looks like a castle spire. You can see it is in the distance as we get there. Very elaborate. like a sugar maple. Very nice, very nice. Maybe we will not go back to that path. Not sure yet. There is the uh, northern end again. My father's friend told me the name of that shrub right there. Starts with a V. I believe it's Vitex, but not sure. There's some, uh, looks like a monarch butterfly it was on there. I believe that's Vitex. It's like they're Plugging the grass or aerating. Aerating, that was the word. Couldn't think of it. Keeping the lawns healthy. Grounds Maintenance 101. I'm not sure what's over here, but I guess since we're here, definitely should check it out. Looks like there's some cars up here, so somebody's here. Maybe we won't bother them. Here's a bike trail. There's that beautiful castle. We may even climb up there, not sure yet. I think I might do that, don't know. Here's some type of yellow wildfire, not sure what it is though, but real pretty. Never seen it, I don't think. Maybe somebody watching this can identify it, I don't know. Another big hackberry. That must have been the dream house. Must be the dream house. Cute little cottage it looks like to me. 
Must have been nice. Very nice. If you want to take the time to read that, very nice. Just read it myself. Let's check this out. We may go up here. It's locked. We can't go in. But anyhow, it's really cool. Love to go up there when they open it. Really cool tower. This looks like a sage. I may bring one with me for smell. Wow. Hey. Fig tree. That's what my last name means, supposedly. <laughs> the share means fig tree. And there are some rhododendrons up here. Nice. And I, oh my goodness, that's a big holly. How's it going? Wow, this is the dream house, huh? This must be the dream house, huh? No, I don't... I believe I rode here a long time ago, but that was it. Wow. Do they ever let you, like... The, I guess when they have a day they open it, do you get to go inside and see it, or no? I've never been in there. <laughs> they don't really let you do that, huh? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my aunt, Paul Lyon, she's alumni here, but yeah. that don't really matter. I mean, I could probably talk to her, but I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've never been in there, but I've definitely seen people in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't have to go in. I was just wondering if you did. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
best secret is the one that's never told to anybody, right? That's what they say. Or that's what I just said, <laughs> rather. Kind of march to the tune of my own drum, don't I? All right, let's check this beautiful house out. Isn't this cute? Wouldn't you just love to pick some blackberries and have a deer in the cooler? And just sit on your nice homemade furniture on top of Lavender Mountain. Here we are in the gardens. Looks like they planted a lot of mums for the fall time. I'm sure they work really hard up here. There's even a water fountain up here. Imagine that. Oh, yes. Oh, I like it. A little pool. I love it. Can't wait to get over here. Look at this part over here. We'll come to the pool in a minute. And look at the birds. Oh my goodness. Is this not fabulous? Leave my water right here for a moment. Is that not just marvelous? Blood good Japanese maple. It's like they overseed it with rye grass, I'm guessing. Get out of the shadow. Very nice azalea. I love ours and Ella uh, J. That's what this reminds me of. We were up on a mountaintop there, and <sighs> very nice. Look at that beautiful lawn. Is that not beautiful? And the view. Can't help but be happy in a place like this. All right, let's check out this little pond. I wonder if there's goldfish in here. Oh, there are, and they are so pretty. Let's try to film these without them seeing us. Yes, you see that? There's a koi right there. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Kudos to the uh, Barry College landscaping crew. They did a really nice job. Let's fill water temp. Oh, very cold too. Awesome. Just magical up here. Just beautiful. Another blood good uh, 
Japanese maple. Here's another view of the view. Not sure what that is. I believe it's some type of maple. Sugar maple, I believe. Yeah, some type of maple for sure. You can see the plane. I'm going to film them for a minute. out here and view them some more. Big jet, probably out coming from the Russell B Airport. Richard B. Russell Airport. I believe we're going to leave the garden for a moment. There's my walking stick and water. Looks like a uh, sticks out like a sore thumb in this beautiful place. There's a boxwood right there. Pretty. Another view of the view. Nice, isn't it? Cute little cottage, is it not? Let's go look at this hammock over here. Well, let's go up here. That pumpkin for Halloween, that cute. Another view of the view. Oh well, I couldn't see it very well. Honey, I'm home. Imagine that. <laughs> kind of see the inside. Don't want to film too much of that. Give them their privacy, you know. Just glad I made a trip up here. And I do am well. Uh, here's the hammock. And I'm a taxpayer in this community. I've lived here a while, know plenty of people, so I am just as privy to come up here as anybody else. So, for the snobs out there, heck with y'all. This is God's property, and that says it in the plaques many times. So, uh, this is beautiful what y'all have done, but, you know, if y'all let people come here, then y'all let people come here, right? Got a working water fountain. Isn't that amazing? bird feeder. Let's follow this path. This looks nice. Look at those rotos. Are they not pretty? Looks like they're about to bloom too, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that giant holly. I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Very nice. Probably been sitting on this mountaintop over a hundred years, I would guess. Actually, there's a little bloom on the rhododendron, and they're pretty. There's a swing.
Designed by Harry Carlson of Boston, the House of Dreams was built by students in 1922 as a gift to Martha Berry. The Berry Alumni Association proposed to the Board of Trustees in 21 that a campaign be launched to raise 20000 for the construction of a building on top of Lavender Mountain in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the founding of the school. Contributions for the project came from alumni as well as from Emily Vanderbilt, Hammond, and friends. All of the construction's materials were cut or quarried from the mountain by the students. The students also made the furniture for the house. The house was to serve as a retreat for Martha Berry. Although she rarely spent the night here, she would often bring guests to the mountaintop retreat. The garden was designed by landscape architect Robert Critland, who also designed the gardens at Oak Hill and the grounds for the Ford buildings on the lower campus. Terraces for the fruit trees were added by Martha Berry on both the north and south sides of the hilltop just below the formal gardens. The stone tower at the House of Dreams was built in 1928 to house the water tank for the house. At almost 1,400 feet above sea level, the tower offers superb views of the Berry campus to the south. On clear days, Lookout Mountain near Chattanooga, Tennessee can be seen from the north side of the tower. Top left, Martha Berry with Henry and Clara Ford and other guests at the House of Dreams. You can see her right there. I believe she's in the center. Top middle, the house under construction in 1921. Top right, interior of the house, 1930. Very nice. That is a cool plaque. Okay. Can't wait to show my family and friends this video. I think they'll like it. Let's go check this fruit tree out. And I shall be heading back pretty soon. I have more adventures to do. That maple should be beautiful soon. I know I saw a fruit tree. I'm trying to remember where it was at. I think that's really cool that Martha Berry is the one that uh, came up with these terraces. Here it is. I believe it's a, oh, it may be a cherry tree. I don't know. Oh, what is this? I think it's just an old crab apple. Oh, well, I was hoping. Still nice. If you were starving, this would be wonderful, would it not? Here's something, not sure what it is. Looks cool. There's a little holly bush. I'd love to just get permission to sleep up here. Oh my god. Let's check this orchard out. Class of 61 built this. It's like a shack to me. <laughs> and it is open. Let's check this out. It's very cool in here. It's like restrooms. Locked. The restrooms are open. Very nice. I hope making this video doesn't get me in any trouble. Hopefully not there. To... 
Now we are on the Berry College side, the southern side of Lavender Mountain. And this is the southern orchard as I read from the plaque. The uh, northern orchard on the northern side was the first one we looked at. And that was when I first arrived here, if y'all remember on the video. Here we go. Looks like, uh, not sure what it is actually. Peach trees, I believe. These are all peach. Very nice. You could probably get a comparative analysis of uh, southern side versus uh, northern side. I know that uh, peaches on the northern side, from my experience with fruit trees, uh, tend to not be fooled into fruiting too early because the northern side of the mountain is a more even temperature. It looks like the wall has collapsed. I would love to ask them if I could help rebuild it. Don't know if the students can only do that though. Very nice, though. very nice. So I think I've went far enough, but there's the beautiful sunny side of Lavender Mountain. And I believe I am going to hike a little further and start heading back. I believe I'm going to uh, just play some of my trip back down. I don't think I'm going to play the whole thing. Or we'll see. Maybe I will. I think we've pretty much explored most of this area. You can always see something new next time, but I believe we pretty much looked at it. There's those pretty azaleas again. And pretty gardens from this angle. A ginkgo. Very nice one. There are some of those by the forest buildings in downtown Rome. Another ginkgo. And that will be a neon yellow soon. And here is this lovely path that I talked about originally. And that lovely vista. And that is the northern side of Lavender Mountain. Looks like in the top right. It's kind of hard to see, but that's John's Mountain. That kind of goes on the, the right side. And then it looks like maybe Taylor's in the far back or John's Mountain and... Looks like Sand Mountain, actually. Very pretty, though. That is Texas Valley. Nice little pathway. And it looks like someone else has joined us. There's a, a chestnut tree out. Uh, yep, European chestnut. Hey guys. No, how's the hike? Huh? So, how was the hike? Oh. oh, okay. Seems like you just keep on climbing, doesn't it? Right? Yeah. For like an hour. You know that's good exercise, that's gotta be, right? Yeah. <laughs> See y'all. Y'all enjoy it. It's awesome. I know you didn't run all the way up here. Yeah. No, you didn't. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, how y'all doing? Good. How about y'all? Doing well. Good.